Harvester nettles wear gloves and long sleeved leg clothing to prevent being stung. Uh, nettles really need to be over a year old and strong if broken easily, too young and not enough fibres. Using scissors cut down at the base. To remove the leaves, hold from the top and with the other hand in a fist in the stem, pull down. This not only removes the leaves, but it flattens the tiny needles so it does not sting them. Quick look on um, wiki ret retting is the process employing the action of microorganisms and moisture on plants to dissolve or rot away as much of the cellular tissue and pectin surrounding bus fibres, bundles, and so facilitating separation of the fibres from the stem. It is used in the production of fibre from plant materials such as flax and hemp stalks. Uh, water retting, the most widely practiced method of retting is called water retting by submerging bundles of stalks in water. The water penetrating to the central stalk portion swells the inner cells, bursting the outermost layer, thus increasing absorption of both moisture and decay producing bacteria. Retting time must be judged carefully. Under retting makes separation difficulty and over retting weakens the fibre. Uh, natural water ret retting em employs stagnant or slow moving waters such as ponds, bogs and slow streams and rivers. The stalk bundles are weighed down usually with stone or wood for about 8 to, 10, 8 to 14 days depending on water temperature and min mineral content. Tank retting by contrast employs fats usually made of concrete, requires about 4 to 6 days and is feasible in any season. In the first six to eight hours, called the leaching period, much of the dirt and colouring matter is removed by the water, which is usually changed to a sure, clean fibre. Waste wetting water, which requires treatment to reduce harmful toxic elements before its release, is rich in chemicals and can be used as liquid fertiliser. Is take them out individually and scrape all this into some water, hopefully it hasn't all rotted down may off. There's all the nettles, they've had their bark taken off and here is all the, uh, the fibres. Um, I'm going to leave this for a little while longer in here. Um, it was clean water so I'm just going to let it ret, ret for a little bit longer. Um, but all the hard work's done, that's ready to nearly, don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but um, when emptying the, the water butt I um, used it to water other plants in the garden because it's very nitrogen and rich um, and no need to dilute it. Um, if you look at nettle, uh, it's very nodular. Um, the uh, nettle itself in some of them. If you break it open, um, it's hollow. And yeah, if you break it open, you will see that it's uh, nodular. Yeah. So you've got your, you know, one thing here and another thing there so you, you know you've got that so it's very similar to bamboo I think um, and I've noticed on some of the really thick um, rooty stems that I got that it's quite a nice wooden pattern um, so being similar to bamboo um, you know you can make I don't know, blinds or so, something out of them, but um, yeah, so I'm going to keep some of the thicker bits and uh, see what I can do 
uh, with them um, and just put the thinner bits onto a compost um, but yeah so and if I had to do it again what I'd do is um, I was picking large ones and the tips at the end um, you got a bit of fibre off but you know, they end up just snapping and getting to the bottom of the, the water back there so um, what I'd do is I would uh, if they're really long just cut them to the, the size like of the water bat and then discard the tips um, because they end up breaking like this and it's it's it wasn't worth it and so yeah um, so yeah I'm just gonna quickly tidy up here uh, what I did with that bucket I um, I uh, took as many nettles out rinse um, Scrunched them dry, or to get the excess water out. Put them into another bucket, and then just to add a bit more water to uh, get rid of the slimy bits. Um, it's uh, you can still see bits of slimy, but I'm just going to let them dry here. 